Hi guys, my name is Tony Fennig with Barletta Boat Company uh, and I am here today to talk about how to properly dock a boat. Um, some things to remember when you're coming up to your dock is one, don't come in faster than you're willing to hit your dock. Um, you know, it, it is an obstacle you want to avoid. Um, another thing to remember is slower, you know, at, at this point is better. Um, you know, a lot of people get flustered when they're coming into their dock, so they feel the need to hit the throttle. Um, that's not really the case. Come in a little bit slower, let the boat do the work, um, and then from there, it should be done. So today we're going to go over the necessary steps to safely dock your boat, so that your boat and you arrive in one piece. So first, you're going to want to prepare your boat. You're going to want to make sure your fender is at an optimal height for your boat and pier. You're going to also want to make sure that the bow and stern lines attached to the boat cleats on the side are in the right position to be affixed to the dock. So once you've prepped your boat, you want to be aware of your surroundings. So you want to be aware of the wind conditions, and if you're on a river, you definitely want to be aware of the current. Also, you want to make sure there's enough space for the boat to turn around if necessary. If you must swing around, know what's in your path. So as you're coming up to your dock, it's nice to know if you're tying up to a cleat or a post. This just makes it easier when you're coming up to the dock, you know what kind of knot to pull off. So lastly, before you dock your boat, you wanna be aware of the water depth. Um, if it's shallow, you may have to trim up your boat, which will alter the, the, uh, the flow of the boat a little bit. So as you're approaching your dock, you don't wanna come in faster than you're willing to hit the dock. Many boaters make the mistake of hitting the throttle too fast in one direction, and this is where you can get into some trouble. So start by coming into the dock at a 45 degree angle. Slowly drift in, and when your bow has reached the dock, bump the boat into reverse and point the engines towards the dock. When you're in reverse, that'll bring the stern of the boat to the dock. Finally, you need to tie up. Keep the engine running as you tie off your bow and stern lines to the dock. Having the engine running will let you react quickly if the boat begins to drift from the dock due to heavy current or heavy winds. Before we go, we want to remind you that you can adjust the boat once it's at the dock. You can do this by hand if you need to move the boat up a cleat or two. If you're in a tight space and need to face the opposite direction, you can always turn the boat around by hand. Remember these steps and your docking process will be smooth and worry-free. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the water.